third. Love the lights in Town Square and Jackson, and we got some fog and low cloud cover coming back in, adding a little bit more of that natural flocking to the trees here the next few days, and also for this approaching weekend. We've had some clouds in Jackson today. We've also had some clouds earlier in Idaho Falls this morning with the snow that came in over this past weekend, but clearing out across the Snake River Plain with fog remaining tonight in Franklin County, also getting some fog and low cloud cover on Malad Summit, just north of Malad there in Oneida County. Now you can see here it's fairly foggy along Highway 91 just north of the Utah state line and we are seeing some light snow and ice from that low cloud cover and fog. Tonight we're going to have some of that cloud cover and fog starting to get back into areas of the Snake River Plain plus also a touch of wet weather circulating through the region off of this big area of low pressure which is continuing its trek to the south heading as far south as Los Angeles getting in here for Tuesday and Wednesday keeping us with that cold air flow low as the deep trough of low pressure remains and we're going to be dealing with some valley fog with lighter winds and a few areas of snowfall from that cloud cover and fog. We're pretty much just going to be wringing the clouds out of that moisture. There's not much, but just enough to make the roads a little slick in a few spots. So here's a look at the forecast for tomorrow morning. You got that low cloud cover and fog potential for the Snake River Plain and for the valleys of western Wyoming, but fairly sunny conditions through that times here for parts of central Idaho and and also a little bit of southeastern Idaho as we get through tomorrow. We're stuck with that cloud cover and fog for your Tuesday and Wednesday with more snow up around the Tetons and the Snake Highlands. Some sunshine here for Wednesday in central Idaho and also starting to push back on some of that fog and cloud cover out of Jackson and eastern Idaho as we get into Wednesday afternoon and evening. If we do see snowfall, very low snowfall accumulations. In fact, uh, maybe looking at a skiff to a half inch in Driggs and Jackson and the same for Island Park and West Yellowstone. So for tonight, tomorrow, and again for Wednesday, areas of fog with a slight chance of snow, winds light out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures here at 32 for Preston and Malad for highs tomorrow, 26 in Afton and a high of 30 in Soda Springs. Upper 20s for Rexburg, lower 20s in Island Park, and 26 tomorrow in Jackson. Speaking of Jackson, here's your eight-day forecast. Highs will be in the mid to lower 20s for Wednesday and Thursday, with scattered snow returning Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as a more substantial snowstorm rolls on in with gusty winds right through the heart of your weekend. Rexburg, a high of 28 for tomorrow and Wednesday with the upper 20s on Thursday. Chance of snow rolling back in late Friday and more snow expected for Saturday. Central Idaho, and again, we're going to have partly cloudy conditions in central Idaho over the next couple of days. Not as foggy or cloudy as areas of the Snake River Plain and areas close to western Wyoming, but getting pretty chilly tonight with a low of 10 in Shouse, high of 29 for tomorrow. We'll have highs in Salmon at 33 with 27 for Wednesday.